How long does it take for the face to recover and to go to work after PRP injection? Is it dangerous to be exposed to the sun? Thank you for your question. Your question, in your question, you're asking um, how long is the recovery after a PRP injection, and then is it dangerous to be in the sun after a PRP injection? Well, I think I can certainly help you with this. I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon, certified by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery, and a fellowship-trained oculoplastic, oculofacial plastic surgeon uh, practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. And I've been very uh, busy with the application of PRP in a variety of applications, including uh, facial rejuvenation. So I can give you a, a sense of how we counsel our patients when we discuss the benefits of PRP um, in, during consultation. First of all, let's understand what is the purpose of PRP and how it's different from a lot of other um, modalities to improve your appearance. To begin with, PRP is not a filler. PRP, which stands for platelet-rich plasma, is derived from your own blood. And what it is is an extension of a technology that was used for wound healing and to stimulate um, growth of blood vessels and tissue in first used in oral surgery and orthopedic surgery. And what essentially we're doing is we're stimulating the fat cell layers under the skin as well as the collagen and blood supply to the skin. And so what PRP does is it creates volume, but a volume in a more diffuse way. It also creates a unique skin glow effect because of the stimulation of collagen. And, and based on that uh, conclusion, now this is differentiated from a filler like Juvederm or Restylin. These fillers are hyaluronic acid fillers and they're used to restore volume in a very specific way. We use this in everything from lip enhancement, uh, cheek enhancement, uh, procedure we call the Y-lift for structural volumizing. So there's a distinction and a lot of people made the mistake of believing that PRP was a substitute for injectables. It, it is not. It is, a, it is really something that's in the uh, same line as a regenerative medicine technology and it is very effective in improving skin quality. So whenever we talk about this to our patients, we explain a few things. One is that the PRP itself is devoid of any red blood cells. It's, it is separated, so it's very clear. But whenever you enter the skin with a needle, you can get a small bruise at the entry point of the needle. So, or you can get little pinpoint uh, areas. So I always explain that you don't want to uh, do something that is important in a social or a, or a professional way where your face looking a little bit swollen could draw attention. Typically the fluid from the injection gets absorbed most of it in about 24 hours. So a lot of people will time their lives around that schedule. As far as the sun is concerned, I, I would say that it's fairly safe to be in the sun but use standard sun precautions such as the wearing of sunblock and hats, etc., particularly if you live in a place where it's very sunny. If you get a bruise, then be mindful that that bruise can get a little dark, it can cause the skin to get darkened because of its color. It absorbs more light and it can cause, stimulate hyperpigmentation or d darkening of the skin. So use uh, in, in, in precautions such as wearing of sunblock or moisturizer with sunblock. And this is something in our office after we do the injection, we clean the face. It's, not, it, it's, it's common practice for us to have our aestheticians or uh, technicians apply a little sunblock if the patient um, needs it. So with that being said, I think you can uh, at least move forward and meet with doctors who perform this procedure, learn about what, if it's right for you, and then take it from there. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck.
and thank you for your question.